Hey guys, Dr. G here, and today I thought of a pretty interesting idea for a video. So for today, I'm going to be doing something a lot different than usual. However, I think it'd be something that'd be really fun, and maybe I'll start doing a lot more content like this. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this idea of mine, of not just doing Roblox videos, but just doing anime videos in general. And uh, yeah, like this video if you enjoy, and comment down below if you guys want to see more. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be pitting some very popular shonen anime verses against each other in a tournament of power-like style, and we are going to be seeing which shonen verse would most likely win in a tournament of power. So just like the tournament of power, there were eight universes that competed. Most people think 12. However, four universes sat out, and it was only just eight universes who fought in the tournament of power. And those universes were just the ones in the show yeah anyways so with that we are going to be doing eight different anime verses so for today here are the verses that will be competing against each other in the term of power like style dragon ball z one piece naruto my hero academia hunter hunter seven deadly sins bleach and jojo so the first question is who is the first to drop now i think a lot of us would all agree that a certain verse on this list would drop first and i think that would be my hero academia now the reason why is just because i don't think their scaling is on the level of a dragon ball z or one piece or bleach but i do think they're still very strong of course however you know just compared to a lot of these other universes they're probably going to get literally destroyed in the first 10 seconds of the match their best bet is like all might but he lost his powers i don't know if we're gonna talk about that keep in mind i am not caught up with the manga i don't know if deku got some new quirk that makes him goku level but as of from what i know they don't last very long after my hero academia who drops after them now i hate having to say this because i'm a very big fan of this anime but i do believe hunter hunter would be shortly after now yes i know they have uh, nanika and they have hacks there i just think that there are characters from other verses uh cough cough jojo cough cough who have abilities who might be able to counter nanika through other hacks so i think once they get rid of her it should just be an easy sweep to be honest after we disposed of the two weakest verses on the chart there are six verses left i don't think that hunter hunter and mha even teaming up could be any of these verses now this is gonna get a lot of salt in the comments of course because you know this could really go either way however this is just my personal opinion so do take it with a grain of salt i think the next verse that would drop please don't kill me in the comments for this is naruto so i think that once they get rid of those really powerful heavy hitters, the other verses, I think that they're going to be practically useless. Because, like, let's say they got rid of, like, uh, Naruto, Kaguya, Madara, Sasuke, and, like, Kakashi, and, like, you know, Mike Guy. Once they get rid of all of them, like, Obito, they're going to be in big, big trouble because there's not really going to be many more characters who can put up a good match. Now, verse that comes after Naruto, I think... It'd be very close, but I think they would have the slightest edge, and I give that to One Piece. I think that One Piece would be next to drop. I hate having to say that because I'm a big One Piece fan, but I do think they would definitely put up a strong match. Though, do I think they'd win the Tournament of Power? No, no way. There are some other verses on here. The other verses I haven't even covered yet would probably destroy One Piece and Naruto. But there are characters in those verses who could literally just maul through everything after that now we're getting into the upper tier verses after this next one and that is seven deadly sins i think would drop right after one piece i know the animation sucks for the show and a lot of people don't like seven deadly sins because of that however we do still got to realize that their verse is very strong after seven deadly sins is when we get to the top three strongest verses we have left dragon ball z bleach and jojo now how would i place these this might cause a lot of drama in the comments and uh yeah just debate it amongst yourselves so i'd say the next verse to drop after seven deadly sins is bleach now i definitely have a lot of respect for the bleach verse however i just don't think they would have some characters who can counter people in jojo and dragon ball z now for the last two we have jojo and dragon ball z now 
This is very debatable. I'm debating with myself even right now for who should be higher than the other. It can go either way. Since we're including the entire verse for each one, I'm gonna have to say JoJo drops next. Now, the reason why I say JoJo drops next is that they have extremely powerful characters, but for a similar reason to Naruto, I think it's just that they don't have enough extremely powerful characters. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys want me to do a part two where I add in more verses or I just do a, like eight completely different anime verses that you guys suggest in the comments, let me know. And if you guys want me to do more videos like this because I really enjoy making uh, content just on normal anime, let me know. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next stream or video. Peace. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.